Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And if like us, you hate those inexact sensors on your freshwater tank, you're going to appreciate this week's episode because we are installing the Mopeka Pro ultrasound freshwater tank sensor. So stick around. So the way this little guy works is it attaches to the bottom of your fresh water tank and it sends an ultrasonic uh, signal up through the tank to measure how high the water is in your tank. So you have to have access to the underside of your fresh water tank. You have to know how tall your fresh water tank is. And then it connects to your phone via Bluetooth to give you an exact percentage of how much water remains in your freshwater tank. Now, if you watched last week's episode, you know that we were dealing with a disaster with our freshwater tank as we stupidly caused a situation that caused the tank to literally drop right through our underbelly onto the ground. We got that all fixed in last week's episode, but because we had easy access to the tank, we figured why not take the opportunity to install the Mopeka Pro sensor on our fresh water tank. So please excuse that my hands are all beat up and stained from repairing our broken water tank in last week's episode, which we'll put right here on the screen if you didn't get a chance to see that. But we're taking advantage of the opportunity to install the Mopeka Pro Check water tank sensor that uses ultrasonic technology. Right here in the center is a little ultrasonic sensor, and this mounts on the flat surface on the bottom of your water tank using this clip ring. Right up against the tank, it measures the height of the water in your tank for an exact reading to show you just how much water you have left. Now, hand in hand with this project, we're installing a, an inspection hatch, a marine inspection hatch that will allow us to access through our underbelly the sensor that we're about to install. That sensor has a battery life of about two years and that'll make it super easy to change the batteries. We're going to epoxy this ring right onto our underbelly. Here are our existing traditional tank sensors that show 100% full, two thirds full, one third full and empty. Is it any wonder that they are so inexact? Look at how they were placed in there by the factory. Look at how close together they are because our tank is only six inches tall. So look, one third left and empty are almost exactly right next to each other. This will be a lot more precise for when we're boondocking and trying to manage our water resources. As we were replacing the corrugated poly underbelly panel beneath our RV that was damaged in the water tank mishap last week, that gave us the perfect opportunity to place the cutout for this six inch marine inspection hatch right in the underbelly before we put it up under the trailer. Understand that if your underbelly panel is not damaged the way that ours was, you can simply trace out the hole for the inspection hatch right in the underbelly panel as it's sitting beneath your trailer, being careful to not damage your water tank in the process. The poly underbelly material is soft and easily cut with a utility knife. Our water tank is wrapped in this reflective insulating barrier. So we're going to have to trace out and carefully cut a section for the sensor and its retaining ring. Again, being careful to not score the polyethylene water tank itself. Let's pause for a moment to ensure a correct fit. We're next going to apply to the tank some of the primer provided with the sensor to help the 3M VHB tape on the retaining ring to adhere to the tank. After breaking the seal on the tube, it's applied in much the same way as ink from a magic marker.
Next, we'll squeeze a pea-sized dollop of dielectric grease, also provided in the package, right on the sensor to improve its contact with the tank. Finally, we'll snap the sensor against the tank with the retaining ring. Care should be exercised when separating the two halves of the retaining ring, for you may notice that we've already cracked it in one spot. One spot shouldn't matter, but cracking it in two places will render the retaining ring useless. Next, we're going to mix up some two-part plastic epoxy to attach the outer ring of the marine inspection hatch to our poly underbelly material. We'll now press the outer ring of the marine inspection hatch into place. You don't want to be here, holding this with pressure until it cures, so have something handy to hold the hatch ring in position under pressure. We're going to do exactly that and leave it overnight to cure and harden. Now the next morning, we'll enhance the placement of the hatch by inserting the six provided screws, ensuring that the tips of these screws won't reach our water tank and pierce it. Finally, I'm going to make extra sure on the seal by surrounding the inspection hatch with a bead of silicone caulk. Connection to the free Mopeka Tank Chap app on your phone is made via Bluetooth and is as simple as opening the app and holding down the sync button on the sensor until it appears in the app. Within the app, you input the height of your tank, in our case 6 inches, and the update frequency as longer update intervals increase sensor battery life. Let's now drain the tank and check back periodically to ensure proper calibration. Sure enough, it's steadily going down as the tank drains. And by the time the tank is drained completely, the sensor reads low. By monitoring our water consumption while boondocking more precisely, we'll be better able to effectively manage our resources and prolong our boondocking stays. So we truly hope that you found this episode's information useful to you. If you liked this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, that's where you're going to find the comments section. It's where we'd love to hear from you after each grand adventure, which we air every Wednesday evening. We'd be truly honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But if you're not yet a grand adventurer yourself, Coming up next week, we're going to be starting the remainder of 2023 as RV travel episodes, with our first episode coming to you from Southern Utah. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer yourself, now is the time for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure. So until next week from Southern Utah, please remember, Life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.